Alright folks, welcome to round one. Uh, we're here with a fairly aggressive uh, red deck. And uh, unfortunately, we're starting on a mulligan, because this is really not uh, not the way we want to start our game. One land wouldn't even be terrible if I had a few two drops, but I've got five, four, you know, combat tricks, all that sort of stuff. This is This is no good. So we'll be taking a mulligan to try and find something a little bit better than this. Wow. This is still pretty terrible. Two five drops with one land. I just... I am a low mana deck. Give me two lands and some creatures and I'll be happy. I'm going to have to keep it. This is not where I want to be, but... I mean, my deck is full of low mana creatures, so hopefully we can actually draw some of them. Power of Fire is nice. It's going to do some work. Alright, let's draw some kind of two mana thing. I'm just gonna draw lands, sure. Beseech, okay. <laughs> he besieged for a mountain. Alright, my opponent playing two colours and not happy with their start. Uh, okay, I think... I think Captain is where I want to be. Get that down. This is going okay. We can kill two drops, which is good. As you say. And uh, we can attack and do some good work. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. So I'm going to have to set up some trickiness here. I can kill that, just not right now. So, a combination of Puncture Bolt, Power of Fire, and Zero Mind Captain, I can get there. We're going to use Pilly Pala to do it. Doing it this way because I don't really want them to kill my captain. If they have to do so. Creature, yeah. All right. Uh, well, that's good. <laughs> That'll do the job. Ah, uh, yes, he can't block. Probably should have paid attention to that. Let's at least pretend that I can block, I guess. got the removal, he's just two for one me straight all day. 
This is not going the way I had hoped. Just got to draw non lands. I can want for one here, I believe, which it is not what to do. There's a target player. can't seem to win. My opponent's just got all the removal. And they've two for one me every time. So my enchantments are not good. Yes. Uh, if I attack... I keep forgetting the couch car block, yes. Apologies, I keep forgetting that stupid thing it will not block. Yay, power of fire. That's terrible. All of my enchantments are really not good against this deck. This is just terrible. I believe I'm now dead. Uh, very, very dead. But we did pretty good on a multi five. We did okay. Not sure why my opponent didn't ping me for one before. Got it, just go nuts. Okay. So, sideboard. Is there anything we need to bring in? Uh, poison the well doesn't seem terrible, but my opponent seems to be on a very tight mana base. So it's possible that um, I want to hit their red source or something like that. So I'm thinking poison could be good. Uh, the assistant isn't going to do anything. Embergale is. This is not really the match for an Embergale. Coldbrand Cinder. Is that the one we already have or the one we don't need? Oh, this guy, right. To an extent, I agree. He had a couple of X ones. Had a few X ones, I guess. I mean, the gouger was the only thing that really got us, but he has the shade and he has the two dudes. So we could bring that in. Uh, what do we cut? Possible I want to cut, like, one of the Power of Fires, or the... No, I don't really want to cut the Scourge or anything like that. Um, double Cleave? Possible? What are we cutting here? We cut double cleave, or maybe one of the scuzzbacks, 
although they seem good. I don't like having more 5 drops, so I possibly just switch out one of these guys. Cut one of the powers, just because of all that removal. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, so it's one thing I would want to take out. Pushing our curve up a little bit is slightly concerning. But we're just going to have to see how we go. Alright, let's run it and see how we go. Try not to get eliminated in round one. And that's not how we do it, guys. That's This is not okay. This is better. Third land. I do want my third land. So I'm going to leave it on top. I'm going to save the Cinder for a little bit. Just get Pilly Pallor and some other stuff. Yeah, Midgar God's really not liking me today. I'll just chuck Pilly Pallor down. I want to play stuff like Hobgoblin, Mind Captain, and then Heartleach Cinder after that. Good chance my goblin dies, but it also means his uh, can't really attack. Yep, that's fine, you still can't attack. Alright, so to get maximum value, I think the cinder needs to come down now. Wouldn't mind a second one off the top. Gives me an extra three. Although playing the captain here, I guess he'll just block, right? He blocks the cinder. Send in. Play a captain. Just go aggro, I think. Send it in, offer to trade. Because that sickle rip has got to go at some point. So, the question is do I want to have the option to up the captain? I think I want to up the captain. Which into gives me one more on the Heartlash Cinder, but having two mana to activate the Captain allows me to go with a lot more damage. <sighs> the question is not necessarily is not whether I want to play the Witch first, whether I want to play the Witch at all. Because giving the dudes Trample isn't that important right now. What I want to do is untap this, and my creatures get plus one. Want him to block the cinder? Yeah. No. Let's do it. Can't 
trample that is kind of annoying. Gotta hit hard though, that's the idea, right? Attack. I mean, I think it's giant baiting tapping this guy. Is trigger okay? Sure. Is that eleven? So can just go Cinder again. Play the Cinder, swing in. It's only a little bit of a buff. gets the most damage through. Giant baiting probably... Giant baiting only gets one 4-4 four, four through. So I'm probably better off just cindering. And sending the team. He kind of has to block. He's going to want to block here. Doesn't block. Sure, let's do this. Okay. Uh, so I like the ability to kill X ones still. I f I'm thinking I don't actually want this Cinder dude. Well, I, I want to bring my Power of Fire back in. I feel like that's the more correct option. Just has so many X ones. Yeah, I'm not sure why he didn't block. Um, you know, just didn't want to... Uh, he knew he was dead, I guess. Uh, so I feel like I want to take out a Marauders and bring the Power of Fire back. Just because there are so many X1s. And I can kill them off with Power of Fire. Um, like, I get two for one on occasions. Um, I don't know. He does have a lot of stuff. A lot of these small things. These guys aren't going to work. So, I'm thinking, yeah, we'll cut the Marauders and bring the Power of Fire. The Marauders is very good. But the Colbrand Cinder is going to kill stuff. I think I might run it back this way. I mean, if I pick up Flame Jab and Scar and stuff like that, my opponent's X1 is going to be real sad. So. Two lands. Let's make it happen. This is a keep. Just no question. Keep it. If I have two lands, I pretty much need to keep. So we can Pili Pala Power. I don't think I want the Kindler. I think I'd rather Pili Pala. Although giving this thing haste is kind of good. Let's Pili Pala power it up. It means I get to ping twice and still play a 2 drop next turn. Like the Kindler. Players can't gain life. All damage is so I'm sad with that. I'm pretty okay with that. So, is it power? They say I can attack. Filter one.
play the Kindler and attack for two. Yeah, I don't disagree. Let's get that down. Yeah, my opponent's Everlasting Torment's real weird when I go Power of Fire and makes their life terrible. Let's see if they've got some removal. And they do. It's annoying, but they've got it. Fine. I think we'll hold it up. I think I just want to get these hordes down. Get in for one. Let him keep using his sword. So four two. Sure. Hot lash, hot lash attack. Seems good to me. Apparently. He's going to beseech for He can only get a five equal to the number of lands. If he gets a five, he gets his own power of fire. Good for you. I think I just need to kill that now, uh, with my own combination of things. Ah, uh, yeah, but I can't power a fire here. The problem with that is if I attempt to use my power of fire, he will use his. So, what I think I should do is simply send in, and then I can scar something afterwards. Or I can play the Vexing Shusha, give it haste, attack. So if I attack first, I think that means I want a Vexing Shusher. Let's play the Shusher. kind of fine. I should have kept something untapped, shouldn't I? I, I think, yeah, I um, didn't think through. I figured he would block something, but that's silly. He would never have blocked. He's only on five, though, so he has to f come up with something better than what he has. 
Sickle River. Let's just scout this. You can just be aggressive. I mean, you can ping off one of my things a turn, but... Keep being aggressive. It will just be dead. Uh, no, no, no. Ah, shit. Oh, that was pretty terrible. I'm I'm really messing it up. I apologize. I'm playing terribly. But at least now I can play Power of Fire, in theory. And then start making his life less fun. Okay, so Puncture Bolt is nice. Bolt kills. I yeah, give him neck two, neck two. All right. So let's think this through. I put power of fire on the vexing shusher. I activate it to kill the butcher. Puncturing puncture bolt gives this neck two, neck two. It becomes a two one. Block auto blinds. So we do this. Because the horde has menace, life is good. So power of fire this, see what he does. Now do I want to shush kill this? Or puncture bolt kills him. I, I think I'm probably doing this wrong, but. He has a turn. So doing this way was wrong, but Let's see what he gets. Keep up the ball. Yeah. So basically, uh, I should have killed it straight up. Just uh, just killed Smoldering Butch with Puncture Bolt. I was trying to maximize, I guess. I was I was trying to maximize the use of the damage, whereas what are you doing? Scar. Okay. You can scar something. And then concede. No problem. So yeah. 
Um, <laughs> good use that is good enough that even with misplays I can win. Yes. Um, I think in that last one I was just trying to get maximum value out of my cards, trying to deal the one with this and the two with that to bring that down. I wasn't thinking through how am I winning this game, um, so that was my problem. But uh, that's that's it we go, we got there. Uh, round two coming up, so we're still in it at least. I'm not sure what the prizes look like at seeing this one, I think it's probably just top. Now third to fourth get 50 points, fair enough. So we're going to get in the finals, get 100 points, that'd be nice. 200 would be better. Alright, so even though I'm misplaying, apparently I can still win matches. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> that was a pretty terrible misplay. I was playing too quickly, I was hitting the F2 before realizing that I was supposed to do it. I gotta, gotta just stop and take my time, think through the... Playing an aggro deck is not like I'm going to run out of time. Yep. So, hopefully we get through this match. Get into the money back level. 100 play points gets us uh, our entry fee back. Plus, we get to keep all the cards we started with. Aggressive red. Doesn't matter what format you play, just just play aggressive red, it wins. It wins Pro Tours, it wins drafts, it wins everything. Steel is an artifact though, isn't it? So hopefully with that we'll be okay. Uh, I'm not super happy with this, but I'm not keen to mulligan it. I have a 2, 3, and a 4. The th 3 I'm not going to be able to play yet. Ah, uh, okay. This is not great. Um, just because Ward of Bogarts isn't very good when uh, with this. Giant baiting becomes good later. I mean, it's it's lands and spells. I think I have to keep and hope that I draw spells. Enchantment. Right. I was hoping steel would be an artifact. Double Pilly Bella is apparently the way we're going. We're just going to beat down with 1-1 uh, one, one flyers. My opponent also on the aggressive red deck. Hey, Pilly Pella power. This, this is what we're supposed to be doing. Billy Pala Power, this is what we need all along. Life is good. Okay. So, what I do is I put power on my Pilly Pella. No. Cancel. Okay, let's see if I can do this correctly. I attack first. I pay two. I pay two to untap it. Then I can put it on it and tap it and kill it. So I believe that's the correct approach. Because I don't, I can't do anything else this turn. So. Get some bog arts down.
because I would like to put a scourge on it. My opponent's kept an aggressive hand with no spells. Just give them a little ping. I'm just going to keep it open, I think. I don't really need to... ...go too crazy. Being able to tap Pilly Pallet, ping one and untap, and back tapping it. Seems good. Ping for one. Does giant painting win here? Because I gain fed nine. Untap. Ten? Not quite enough. So we'll just send in. So, he's a red aggressive deck, and he just didn't draw very well. Doesn't tell us a lot. So, I don't think there's too much that I need to change. I think we'll just leave it as it is. Uh... Yeah, I like, I like uh, Pilly Pala, the untapping. It's one mana to make to ping a damage. <laughs> I can't keep six in Pilly Pala. I know Pilly Pala is powerful with Power of Fire, but let's be honest, you can't just give me six in one. Two mana, let's do it third land? I do want my third land, because, you know, these guys. So, I'm gonna leave that on top. It's not the fastest, but if I put Mind Captain and Scourge of the Nobilis, it's pretty good. Alright, we'll attack with my haste. Hopefully when we get up in mana these two will work well together, Cinder and Giant. Quill Spike. Sure. That's not going to do the job for you, unfortunately. There's a lot of red black decks. A couple of lands wouldn't go astray here. Opponent doesn't seem to have very much. Attacking is probably his best choice. Because I won't block and he doesn't know I'm about to make my guy huge. Scourge of the Nobilis. I don't mind 
scaring the cool spike at some point, but right now, just keep smashing. Next turn, probably Heartlash Cinder Scar. Just get rid of the cool spike so that Heartlash can smash through. My opponent has kept a bad hand. Or I can just power here. I don't think I want to power here. I think I just want a Heartlash Scar. Let's get rid of this. Play this. And come in for a million. Alright, so that's how we sling f swing for lethal in uh, under 10 turns for the match. And we just drew brilliantly. Can't, can't complain with anything there. That's it for round two, and we'll be on to round three. There we go. We under ten minutes matches, folks. That's how we do it. Just so much damage. It's, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we took a little bit of a risk, I would say, uh, putting the Nobilis down, just trying to get the aggression stuff. There could have been removal, there was a hundred things he could have used, but I felt like that was high risk, high reward. Take it. That was, yeah, that was pretty impressive for a limited deck. Uh, we, we've drafted this really well. Um, and uh, and as I, I said before, I couldn't have done it without the assistance, so this deck that we've put together, and I do say we, uh, is incredible. Uh, Shame Anthony has yet to return. I'm sure he would enjoy it. Well, I ended up hitting for exactly lethal, and not having... If I had have killed and swung, I would have had one less power from the Seeker. So I think we would have been one short. with Heartlash Cinder. If I had done it, oh, I'd gone one turn earlier, because the Scourge wouldn't be in play, it would have hit for one less damage. So I think that was the only way to necessarily like confirm that we would get the win that way, that turn. Not that I was thinking about that, uh, to be honest. I was, was playing what I thought was the best play at the time. There you go. So that's that. I guess we can all just relax, take a few minutes, go grab a drink, and we'll be back in a little while. Uh, this one can go. It's finished. As uh, my opponents, uh, yeah. Oh, the untap mechanic is insane. There's so many combos that can be made. I don't know what Wizards was thinking when they made an untap mechanic. So I will uh, be back in a couple of minutes while the round rolls down. Just gonna grab myself a drink and get ready for round three.
hopefully we can take it all the way in my very first SSE draft.